up, everyone. We got another greenhouse tour. <laughs> and today, it is 71 is the high, and it is, I think it's 70 now, 69 or 70. It's just beautiful, it's windy. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. windy. But, we yeah, wanted to show you what's all going on in there, because the next couple of days is gonna be cold. 22 for the low and 30 for the high in one day. But then after that, in the 60s and 40s for the low, as far as I can see. So, let's take a look, it's nice and warm in there. So our seedlings are doing really well. Our onions and our shallots, we're still bringing them in if the night's looking cold. So we've been using these little trays when we have to do that, but they're doing really well. We're seeing new ones pop up all the time, and I think I actually planted some of the seeds a little too deep when I was planting them, knowing I shouldn't plant them too deep. So I'm seeing new ones pop up all the time, so I'm glad that they're coming up. I was a little worried about our celery after the last Time we tried to plant celery by seed it just wasn't very successful so what happened is I ended up putting two or three seeds in each cell and some of these have two or three plants coming up in, every, in each cell but then there's some that have none so it's so interesting um, just how that works out but it looks like we're gonna have a good amount of celery if all goes well with this which is great the only other things coming up in our new seedlings that we planted are our cauliflowers just starting to pop our broccoli is going crazy. It looks like we dropped a few extra in some of these cells, but it's all coming up, so that's really exciting. And our cabbage is just starting to come up. We got lots of peppers planted, but none of those have come up yet. We have a few little hanging baskets planted. These are marigolds, and they're all popping and doing great. We put them right here in the bed for the night because it was cold last night, so that hopefully they would um, do well, and they are. I trimmed these green onions last last week when I we did our garden tour or our greenhouse tour and look how tall some of these are it's just crazy I could trim them all again it's it's just crazy how well um, they're growing I hope we start seeing bulbs soon our minutina I tried it yesterday for the first time and I thought it was okay but I tried it after having some onion so I had that onion flavor in my mouth so I'm gonna try it again Want to try it, Matt? He says no. It just tastes like lettuce or spinach. I don't think it really has. We were told it would have kind of a buttery flavor, but I would say it's more. It tastes more like lettuce to me. So I don't know if I'd grow that again. It didn't. For how much space it takes up and how much we're getting out of it. I feel like we could get a lot more if we had planted lettuce here. But again, this is definitely something for winter growing, just kind of trying it out to see if it'll work since it's a cold hardy green. Paris Market carrots look great. More marigolds. So we got a bunch of radishes and we're gonna start pulling them. I wanna cut the greens off of these. The We got bulbs over here already. So I don't know how that experiment's gonna work, but I wanna make sure we cut those. We already have some of these radishes, the back one, it's going to seed already. So we gotta get on top of that and plant another row of them because I really wanna try cutting down a row and seeing how that works. Everything else kinda is about the same. Uh, everything's going good, you know, growing still. We haven't had that vole come back. So I think that's what did it, we flooded. And I also found another one pocket up here. So we flooded it, I took my old wand and I took the end off, I'll show you, and then we shoved it in the ground and worked good. So, all these trees. Look at all these trees Sarah planted. They are all coming to life. It is crazy. If these root, I think we're gonna be giving a lot of trees away. That's crazy. And then this spinach, it's like it just tripled in size in the last three days. It's just just crazy how fast it's grown, how big the leaves are. And we've been only taking a little bits off of here, which we're gonna start getting heavy into it. But we don't have a lot of greens growing in here except for you know these two things and a little bit of the radishes. So we need to swap some crops out so we can get more greens. And our carrots are just doing awesome. Sarah thinks I planted them a little too close with the sausage fingers. They are close. 
She's gonna have to weed them out, or we're just gonna have to see if they they push because the ground's so soft and light. So maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. Time will tell. So unless she's gonna weed them. So this is our lavender. Definitely died, which is such a bummer because it was still green right up until that last snow. We had it covered with some things, and it was still green and got uncovered. And now it looks like it completely died. It still smells really good, so maybe it will come back. I don't know. So our garlic in our garden is coming up all over. We planted a bunch of different varieties. It's really neat because we're seeing it all over the place, which means it's not just one type that's coming up. It looks like all of it is coming up. So I'm really excited because we are going to have some fresh garlic before we know it. All right, I hope you guys liked the little tour and we're gonna enjoy the day. We have some more work to do. Cut down some trees <laughs> to get these pear trees in and firewood. <laughs> yeah, and peach trees. Is that what you meant? Oh yeah, I meant the peach, peach trees we're gonna put in. Oh, I wish we had a bunch of pear trees. They didn't have any pear trees at the store. Yet. Yeah. So, all right, <laughs> glad you guys got to see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.